Dear Diary, right, hello people of the world, which is nobody or maybe two people or whatever, but as the great Joel said, if one person gets it, that's good enough. Even if that person's only you. Yeah! I'm fucking, care how I'm fucking brilliant! Get out, I'm fucking brilliant! I'm a fucking hyped up fucking cycling maniacal beast! Yeah! That kind of thing. Well, yesterday, right? I'll expand, do you want to expand on that, mad dav? I, I was fucking brilliant yesterday! I'm so fucking good, I inspire myself each and every day, yeah! Uh, love yourself, I possess moonlight today. You can yell, this is the home from fresh. My level is seldom seen. Few far between their fools. They couldn't douse my keen lean to the mean thought, etc., etc. I'll not do the full thing. Just give you a wee flavor, you know. Let's play musical chairs. One of my favorite games. You know, you me. How about you me play musical chair or whatever, you know. Anything else? Yeah. Voices. I'm not even warmed up in the voices there. I taught my... <coughs> I taught, I taught myself how to rap, I taught myself how to sing, I taught myself how to do this and that. I'm fucking brilliant at everything, yeah. Yesterday I went up maybe forest, right? The forest, took the gravel bike. This is, this is how, how I am. I'll just expand on why I was fucking brilliant yesterday, right? I went up maybe forest on the bike, right? Da, 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 warm up, 20 mile warm up, went up maybe forest, got four top tens and got nearly a couple of KOMs. For anyone not into cycling, nobody watches this shit anyway, but anyone into cycling would know that that means top of the leaderboard, the Strava leaderboard, I nearly got two KOMs, blasting at max effort, blasting at max effort, up the climbs, nearly got the top, spots, then came home, then made myself a little bit to eat, kind of recovered a wee bit, and then went out and fucking cranked it another 88 miles, yeah. Yeah, run by one look, he done the wind, Ken battle, battling, not really battling, it was more of a dance, you know, I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, you know, dancing with the wind, no, ba no battling, you got to go with water, like, you know, flow like water, like Bruce Lee said, you know, obviously that's been said a thousand times, I'm not saying anything new, everyone's saying that shit at the moment anyway, so if you didn't ken that, there's something wrong with you, if you know, in with the zeitgeist of the whole Buddhist thing, and how it's influencing Western thought, and, uh, and how it's influencing my cycling, everything else. Not to be, not to be um, outdone, what's the phrase? Not to be satisfied with that. I, when I was coming in, I came into town and the fair was on, you know, the Rude Fair, Ken Dumfries Rude Fair, Ken with all the rides and that. And I was, I was flying in, in town uh, on my bike, Ken, the dolphins flowing, it was fucking brilliant. Passing them all and I was like, I am the fair. So I made, came in, edited a wee fucking brilliant, sensational video, put it up in my Strava and the other. So I've made like three videos. Made three videos and did two bike rides. I'm fucking brilliant. So today, I've got to calm the beast, you know, calm this kind of hyped up maniac, you know. And of course, because I'm exhibiting the brilliant fucking energy and uh, it's obviously coming back to me, isn't it? You know, because Ross on Strava goes, oh, we'll have to get out. Come on, when are we going to go out? You know, because he's just been drawn to my powerful energy. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to go out on the bike and go around by Tala, we moff it, coffee stop, and then gun up by Tala, Ken, and crank it up the fucking hill because we've got hill climb this weekend. I'm getting fitter all the time. I'm fucking brilliant, even at the ripe old age of 27, you know. That's the thing, though. I was saying to my brother, just to finish on this point, I'm getting a better cyclist every fucking day. I don't care what age I am. And, you know, what's, what's really inspiring about all these cycling events, right? Um, like all the gravel events that I've got planned for next year, what's really fucking exciting, what gives me a big fucking boner for myself, the fact that I'm so excited to compete in all these next year, right, is that the age-related thing, the Masters category, it's so fucking good because last night I said to my brother, well, everybody at my age, they didn't have access to some special powers. We're all the same age. It's it, you know, we're all we're all. Nobody's got a, an advantage. So I've got as much chance as anybody else. You know what I mean? I think I'm qualified for the job as Graham Aubrey. Quote the greats. Align yourself with the greats. Fuck the mediocre people. Align yourself with the greats, so you can become great. At least, well, you become closer to great if you aspire. If you align yourself with the greats, than if you don't. And if you aspire to. If you just align yourself with 
you know, local negative dickheads, you know, that's not going to work, is it? So I align with the greats, you know, and then you might, you might end up great yourself. I wouldn't say I'm great at the moment. I'm fucking brilliant. I'm fucking excellent. I wouldn't say I'm brilliant, but okay, what the fuck I mean? Like, so what I'm basically trying to say is I'm qualified for the job to coat a brie. I've got two arms and two legs. Yeah, I'm getting fitter all the time. Nobody's going to train as hard as me this winter. Yeah, nobody's going to train as hard as me because I'm already training fucking hard. I've got the motivation even in September, you know, out of season, Coney Island going in the out, you know, go out of season. I shine out of season because I'm different to everybody because I was brought up in a fucking cult and I went away to the fucking, you know, Worldwide Church of God fucking church meetings uh, every September and I had to take homework with me away from school. Was to, everybody else had their holidays like normal people in Tenerife, but I had to go away to fucking Southport and these kind of weird locations to hear a load of church bullshit. So I'm already, I've been out of season every since. So September suits me. So folk are winding down in September and I'm winding up. Yeah. Even though I've got to kind of wind it down today, to, you know, I've got to wind it down today and calm the beast, you know, but okay, what the fuck I mean? Like, I'm fucking on it. First hill climb, we've got three hill climbs and then the National Hill Climb Championship. I don't know whether it'll be quite good enough to get into the National, but why well, I think big. The magic of thinking big. So, <clears throat> I think, uh, <sighs> I think basically what's gonna, yeah, so first hill climb. So, Tala, I'm going out with Ross tomorrow. Fire up Tala, big 10% climb. Some of it is 20%, but average gradient 10%. Give, fucking get a PR on that, because I'm fucking buzzing for it. You can, and then... Then I'll, uh, you know, first hill climb next weekend. And then we've got Peth Bank and uh, Prospect Hill. And uh, the tough, uh, it, bring, it, uh, it weeds out the tough motherfuckers, these hill climbs, because a lot of, because you got to get up early and it's getting cold. And it's like, stop being a fucking pussy, you know. Get yourself dressed and get yourself up. Disciplined. Love it all, enjoy it all, as Mike Tyson said, and blah, blah, blah. I'm fucking getting better all the time. Came what the fuck I mean, like, and to, and to conclude, I was fucking brilliant yesterday. <laughs>